Well, guys, I'll be honest, I was not expecting this to happen so soon. Literally today, we talked about the Into the Pit FNAF game that's been rumored by Scholastic. They said that an Into the Pit FNAF game is coming out soon. And unfortunately, later on today, the actual trailer of the game has been leaked. It's really disappointing that Scott and the amazing developers who have worked probably years on this game didn't have the opportunity to release it themselves it really really sucks as soon as it got leaked i messaged scott about it you're probably wondering why dorko if it's leaked why are you making a video reaction about it scott messaged me back saying do me a favor do a video covering the trailer let's just get it out there here i am do my duty for scott um let's react to the trailer I haven't seen this yet, so I'm really, really excited. I know it's unfortunately leaked, but we're going to make this positive. I really can't wait to see what this looks like. Obviously, after seeing it, we'll do an analysis. I will also put a link to the developer's website. Please make sure you go and support them. It really, really sucks that this happened, but we'll make it a positive thing. And when the game releases, let's support them then as well. And of course, you're going to see it on the channel. With that said, guys, oh man, I can't believe I'm saying this. I, I never thought I was going to say this. Let's react to a FNAF Into the Pit game. First reaction in the new house as well, which is crazy. Right, I'm going to shut up now. Jeff Pink! Oh, it's in, it's in like AP form. S S N E S retro form. Oh, hello! It's pretty funny. Oh, my God. Follow me. Yo, this looks so cool. Oh, my... It's so smooth. Oh, my God, it's so smooth. Oh my god, there he is! There's Oscar! Oh my god, this looks insane! How smooth does this look? This looks so smooth! Oh, there's a dad! What were you thinking? Oh my god! What, what the heck? He's getting trapped in! Oh my... This looks... What? Oh my god, what? I think Golden Freddy! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, what? This looks so good! Oh my guys! I'm, I'm speechless! I'm actually speechless! The music as well! Yo! Guys, what the f Guys, how smooth and amazing did that look? It looks so clean and it's different as well. We literally mentioned it in the past video. We said it could be first person. We were kind of right because we said it was going to be like a pixel SNES game and NES game. But it's so smooth. The pixel art is so smooth. Is that what you call it? If you don't know about Into the Pit, please watch the summary video or go and read the book. This is Jeff's Pizza. We mentioned it in last video. Jeff took over the pizzeria that used to be a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, okay? And in the pizzeria, there's a ball pit that goes back in time because it's possessed by agony and the pain of the murders. So he goes into the pit and he revisits the original murders. Spring Bonnie killing the kids. This is Jeff's Pizza in the day and then it turns to night. And that, that's so cool to see, guys. So that is Into the Pit, Spring Bonnie... Looks exactly like him. It looks amazing. Into the Pit Spring Bonnie is like the agony memory. The dark memory of what happened there in the 80s, probably. So it's really, really cool to see. This is this is a dark memory of when William Afton was in the Spring Bonnie suit, luring the kids into the back room. And we've never seen something like this before in a game. We've seen little glimpses of it in the FNAF 6 mini game with Susie and FNAF VR. But nothing like this. So it's really, really cool to see. And like I said, guys, it's so smooth. It's so smooth. It looks amazing. Follow me. So I don't know if this is like a... I don't know if this is like a POV of one of the kids going into the back rooms or something. He's the main protagonist in the story. Who goes into the pizzeria, finds the ball pit, goes inside, and he's back to the past in the 80s. And that's where it looks like where he is now. Yeah, he's just roaming around the pizzeria. The paper pals are there. Love the references. That toy Bonnie as well. Toy Bonnie's there. So, yeah, this is literally when he goes back to the past. Jeff's Pizza would just literally be a normal pizzeria with the with the rotten ball pit there. You know, it's not going to have all these old decorations and stuff. There was a really key detail what I liked about Into the Pit. So, let's say Oscar or Oswald. I can't remember. I think it's Oswald. I think it's Oswald, guys. I don't know if I said Oscar. I'm sorry. When he's in Jeff's Pizzeria, he looks at the walls and he sees... He sees slight remnants of the old pizzeria, like paint on the wall of Bonnie and Freddy and the gang. Like old, old art that used to be on the walls. It's still there. This doesn't look like Jeff's Pizza. No way. It can't be. Because there's still FNAF stuff everywhere. By the looks of things. Employees only, which is really cool to see. 
And there's the dad. So, yeah, this is what it looks like now. This is what it looks like at Jeff's Pizza. Okay, so you can see the wall. Actually, you can see that, actually. Like I said, yeah, you can see on the wall. I think that, I think that's the old art that I literally just mentioned. You can see the checkered walls are still there. That's literally how it's described in the books, guys. So, yeah, this is when Oswald's in Jeff's Pizza. You can see the difference, guys. Look how it is there. That's when we go back in time in the ball pit. And that's modern times. So this is the pit that Oswald goes into and goes back in time because of the agony. The ball pit's basically powered by agony and the dark memories of what happened. So yeah, the dad's like, what were you thinking? In what were you thinking hiding in that nasty old thing? Didn't you hear me calling you? And then this is what happens, guys, in the actual story. Into the pit, Spring Bonnie comes out of the pit in present time grabs Oswald's dad and drags him down into the pit. In the story, spoilers, the dad goes into the ball pit. He doesn't come back out, but Spring Bonnie does. And everybody else, everybody else in the present world sees Oswald's dad, but Oswald sees his dad as Spring Bonnie, if that makes sense. Oh, wow, look at this. This look, A beautiful cutout of Freddy Fazbear looks amazing. Is that Baby? Baby, what are you doing on the poster? That, is, that looks like Circus Baby to me, guys. Oswald now is panicking. He's just running around. Panicking. Probably getting chased. Oh, here we go. This is so cool to see. We actually hide in an old Springlock Golden Freddy suit, which is really cool. And then we get a POV of being inside the suit. Oh, wow. And then... Oh, I loved it. Guys, this is amazing. Into the pit, Bonnie. Comes past. Notices us. It's so cool. Looks around in the... S oh, oh wow. That's amazing. And then into the pit. So it is literally called Five Nights of Freddy's Into the Pit. It's legit, guys. It's happening. Can I just please remind you guys how smooth that is. It's so smooth. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And the, the, the atmosphere. Like the, atmos the atmosphere here of the breathing. Oh, guys, it's so good. I mean, it's so smooth, guys. I just can't get over how smooth it is. It looks amazing. And like I said, guys, it really is a shame that the developers didn't have a chance to release this themselves. But my, my God, it looks crazy. I'm really, really impressed with the studio. This is amazing. I'm really, really looking forward to this. It's something different. It's something different. A new FNAF style. A, a new FNAF style that we haven't had yet to experience about the books and I, I really hope this is a, I really hope this is successful for you guys and maybe you'll do it maybe you'll do another story or something uh it's so exciting it really is I can imagine like the silver eyes being adapted or something I think we're gonna get it very soon by the looks of things I actually don't know when they were gonna release this trailer um I'm guessing it was gonna be really soon but I don't know a release date. It does look like it's basically ready. I've just noticed as well, I didn't see, I apologize, because um, my camera's in the way. There is an objective, follow the creature. And there is a heart rate monitor as well, if you see. You can see that here. I'm really sorry, my camera's literally in the corner of my screen and I didn't see it. But there is a heart rate monitor and there's, a, there's objectives to do as well. So, yeah, really, really exciting. The, the amazing developers are called Mega Cat Studios. What a cool name. And, th and they've been working on this for a really long time. So, please go and support them. We are so lucky to be getting something like this to experience. We really are. So, a massive thank you to Scott for still doing projects like this. And finding studios to do some amazing work. And Mega Cat Studios, massive shout out to you because this is looking amazing. So, I do think we're going to get it this year for the 10th anniversary. I don't know when. But I'm sure there'll be a release date soon. Let me know your thoughts, guys. It's insane, right? Take care, lots of love. And I'll see you all next time.